Okay, this uh, exercise cover um, that's the if statements. So if you look at this example, we have our input uh, as a way of package, which is stands for W here. C reports to shipping cost, and uh, there is the um, the weight is greater than 20, then the package cannot be shipped. So there's one condition, second condition, third condition, fourth condition. Actually, there's another one, fifth condition, where it is greater than 20. So let's draw the flow chart. So we start with the um, terminal. There is a one input, clearly say weight of the package. Then there's one condition uh, where it is greater than zero, less than or equal to one. If that's the case, we have process. Cost is equal to 3.5. If it's not, that means maybe weight is two kilogram. So weight is less than three, but greater than two. We will say cost equal to 5.5. And then weight is maybe here, less than 10, but it's greater than 3, which is 5 kilogram. Then say it's a uh, cost is 8.5. Then another condition is uh, weight is less than 20, but greater than 10 kilograms. If it's true, we will say cost equal to 10.5. Otherwise, the weight is over 20 kilograms. That means the package cannot be shipped. Then we go to output. We will print shipping cost. If it's less than one kilogram, three kilograms, ten kilograms, twenty kilograms, over twenty kilograms. There will be output and then terminal. We end our program. So let me put some label here. We call it as a start or begin. Input. We have a weight. Here condition is uh, greater than zero, less than or equal to one. So we focus on less than or equal to one. The cost will be um, 3.5. Okay, uh, actually input there should be another variable called cost. We can use it as a later one. Second condition is where is less than equal to three. It means um, second conditions. Then cost will be 5.5. .5. So we are looking at weight, for example, uh, two kilograms. So weight is less than or equal to 10. We are looking at uh, at least 5 kilograms, for example, 8.5. The la last one is where it is less than or equal to 20, but greater than 10, for example, uh, 15 kg. That will be 10.5. We assume the shipping cost is fixed according to uh, the range of the weight. Anything um, greater than 20, uh, the package cannot be shipped. Maybe this is such a small company. So they will deal with only until up to 20 kg. 
and uh, we print uh, the shipping course or uh, the message the package cannot be shipped then this one we call stop or end if it's true 3.5 we are talking about maybe uh, 500 gram if it's false maybe 2 kilograms then cost is 5.5 .5. If it's eight kilo, uh, 15 kilograms, then it's, it's the false, so we got the next condition, true and false. If it's true, for example, um, maybe 17, here anything over 20, maybe 25 kg. Let's look at the example. If the weight is equal to 5 kilogram, then we know that that is not true or false. 5 is not equal to less than equal to 1. So here is not 5 is not less than equal to 3. Here 5 is less than equal to 10. That's correct. So cost is 6.5. And then cost will be printed here as a 6. Point, sorry, 8.5. 8.5 Okay, um, somehow there is um, everything up here as it is Okay, that's uh, what we call is a stop in the middle. I think the, when I type it, it might be move around, so let me remove it. It should be stop here, not up there. Okay, let's create a new Java project. Okay, I will use a main class. Okay, for my convenience, I will copy um, exercise uh, questions here. Okay, main idea is we have a one input, one output. Then uh, calculation is based on uh, the condition here. Depends on weight of the package. We may calculate the shipping cost according to weight. So let me divide into uh, three sections for program design, input, processor, output, output. So first input, we will focus on weight. Also, we need another variable that can be used for output, uh, cost, default value 0.0. .0. So we have a two variable for now. Here, say uh, enter the package weight. That means we need to deal with the uh, standard input device. So let me print a message first. Okay, to get the standard input by keyboards, we need the 
scanner class. You may need to import a Java util and scanner class. Either you can click here or you can type it by yourself. You can repose the line number 21. So the input uh, reference variable or object reference variable has a list of methods belongs to scanner class. One of them is called uh, next double. That it belongs to a uh, scanner class. Then we will assign the value. So here we just process the standard, standard input device. Then we save it to wait. Here is the main uh, idea of this exercise. Let's put the uh, conditions. So part of the process, we are not going to just um, assign the value. The value, actually shipping cost, is depends on weight of the package. So first one we can interpret. Where is less than equal to 1? Kilogram. That means we know that it should be at least um, greater than zero kilogram. So we say that um, weight is less than or equal to one. The cost is three point five or three dollars fifty cents. Next one. If it's two kilograms, that is false. That means we need to evaluate on other conditions. So that statement will be second conditions. That's why you need the next if statement. So if it's not true or false, we need to evaluate another condition where it is less than or equal to 3, but greater than 1. So the cost will be 5.5, dollars fifty cents. And uh, if you look at here, um, what if the weight is 5 kilogram? Then uh, it doesn't meet the conditions, so we need to evaluate on other conditions. Greater than 3, but less than 10. So we have uh, else if weight is less than equal to 5. Sorry, equal to uh, less than or equal to ten, not five. There should be eight point five. So what if the weight is fifteen kilograms? That means we need to evaluate our next statement. As if where is less than equal to 20. So if we have a 15 kg, that's the case. Cost will be um, 10.5. What about anything higher than 20? The weight is greater than 20, then we need to display message. So we are looking at maybe 25 kg here. So let me uh, copy the message. Okay, output. I need uh, one label. Then I will add uh, cost. I think pretty much that's all.
It's always a good idea to have a test data set for every condition. Okay, let me uh, make it smaller so that I can bring it up that uh, conditions. So here, um, okay, let me type 2 kilogram, 2. So answer should be 5.5. .5. That's correct. Let me load it again for 5 kg so we can check down other conditions. 8.5, that's correct. Okay, let me skip one and then let me go to over 25 kg. Okay, the package cannot be shipped and then shipping cost is 0.0. .0. Because it's outside the nested if statement, no matter what, it will print the shipping cost, which is now line number 57. Um, I think pretty much that's all. Okay, thank you.